we're going to Okayama. Welcome back to my channel. This is Jenny and welcome to The Fur Travels. I am now here in Nishi Akashi Station. We are going to use the Kansai Wide Area Pass to access the Shinkansen from Nishi Akashi going to Okayama City directly. Today is actually the golden week here in Japan and you'll get to see how crowded it is during this holiday in Japan. Okay, so this is going to be a day trip. I am using the JR Kansai Wide Area Pass for five days. Okayama is one of our destinations and yeah it's going to take about 55 minutes to go there and we have reserved um, a ticket because it's golden week a lot of people will be traveling so we made an advanced reservation for a Shinkansen train and yeah we're going to depart in a few minutes first travel tip when you're going into Shinkansen don't forget your Eki Bento so before we go we have 20 minutes remaining before our train arrives so we're going to get something from the vending machine because we need water this will go with plain water if that's the train i'll go with plain water the Shinkansen has different boarding points depending on the kind of ticket that you have so make sure that you know that before coming to the platform and so yeah we went ahead and we went inside the Shinkansen, we ate our bento, and before we knew it, since it's a Shinkansen, our travel ended that quickly. We're already in Okayama. It's golden week. This is expected. You'll arrive at JR Okayama Station, and outside the station, you'll get to see the famous Momotaro statue. You can start exploring the city by riding the city's tram system. With the tram system, you can get around the area pretty easily, but be mindful that the Kansai White Area Pass does not cover this one, so you have to pay separately. And just a short tram ride away is our first destination. We arrive at Okayama Castle. This castle is famous for being a color black castle. Much different from other castles in Japan which are commonly white. You're taller than the Shogun. Uh, <laughs> your turn. Bigat. Oh. Most parts of the castle are already renovated. It has a museum and a cafe downstairs and you can get to explore the top side of the castle which has a beautiful view like this one. You'll enjoy it for sure so definitely put this on your bucket list. Number 2. Take a boat ride outside the castle canals. Make sure to pay and reserve your slot in advance before going down the boat area because the cashier is actually in the upper side. <laughs> okay, lang, wala ko okay, lang, wala ko <laughs> this activity is really refreshing and the area is really beautiful so you guys better check this out our last destination for the day and where we plan to spend the rest of our time here in okayama is in kurashiki the mitsui outlet park mall for those of you who like to shop or just to have a chill moment in the mall or in the park, this is definitely the place you have to go to before going home from Okayama. If you guys like branded things, you can definitely go here, enjoy, or just eat your heart out. They have a food court here that is really amazing. And that's it for our short one-day itinerary trip to Okayama City. I hope you guys got something from this video and you enjoyed it. And I hope you also visit Okayama because it is a great place to visit. It is one of the underrated places that you must go here in Japan. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, and share this video. And of course, if you still haven't, please subscribe to my channel for more updates in my life here in Japan and Japan travel tips in general. So that is it, guys. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!